This is In Tune with Bluegrass History, looking at the people and events that helped shape the world of bluegrass music only on the American Bluegrass Network. Who isn't familiar with the instruments that make up a bluegrass band? The unmistakable blend of guitar, banjo, mandolin, fiddle, bass, and dobro are the most accepted tools of the trade among bluegrass purists. But things could have gone a lot differently. Did you know that the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe, toured and even recorded with instruments that are considered to be taboo by today's diehard bluegrass fans? As a matter of fact, Bill actually hired an accordion player. She was the first woman in bluegrass music, Wileen Forrester. She was the wife of fiddle player, Howdy Forrester, and she was a regular member of Bill's band. Her real name was Goldie Sue Wileen Russell Forrester. Her friends called her Billy, but Bill nicknamed her Sally Ann, and she played with the band between 1943 and 1946. Even though the accordion didn't play a central role in Monroe's sound, she played on a lot of very important recordings of that time. Many of the songs she played on went to become bluegrass standards. On Bill's 1945 Columbia Sessions, Wileen laid down tracks on bluegrass special, Rocky Road Blues, and Footprints in the Snow. Some folks like the summertime and they can walk a foul Strolling through the meadow green, it's fitting, there's no doubt But give me the wintertime when the snow is on the ground For the founder when the snow is on the ground you might be surprised to hear that Bill also took to the stage or recorded with piano, vibraphone, and even electric guitar. Some bluegrass legends, including Flatt and Scruggs, use drums in their shows. Others use auto harps and steel guitar. We can only imagine how things might have turned out if not for the forming of the Bill Monroe Bluegrass Boys that featured Lester Flatt, Earl Scruggs, Chubby Wise, and Howard Watts the men that solidified the sounds that we recognize today as the authentic bluegrass sound. So how could have things turned out differently? Well, accordion break anyone? That's bluegrass history. <laughs>